here we have that spot. We're going to see how easily it comes out using the adhesion promoter polish. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's actually kind of, kind of impressive for The adhesion promoting polish has abrasives in it, but very, very mild abrasives because we had to strike a balance between is it going to cut and is it going to leave a DA haze? We want you to apply it with a small random orbital sander. You're going to be using a very little amount and you're trying to spread it over the surface. This is an adhesion promoter. It is not for heavy paint correction. It's just to get a little bit of extra gloss. And if you have some minor swirling and defects like we have on this vehicle, you'll be able to get rid of them.
So I'm not polishing enough, or it's just no, you're good. that little that's, bit of... That's the way it is. Like okay. When we're done, the pad will have almost nothing in it. The paint just sort of minty smell, but there's tea tree oil in it. That's what you're... The smell you're picking up. Yeah, almost... Uh, sort of minty... Piney... Yeah. Minty, yeah. Every time I'm resisting the urge to go to the pad washer. Yeah. I might walk over there. Yeah, when the chemist told me you can't use a damp pad with it, it's like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I want to. <laughs> it's going against everything I've been doing for the past four years. Yeah, exactly. And application. Yep. Just put the underside of here. I can't get yeah. all the way in there. Gloves. Ideally, yep. Yeah. Don't want your greasy little fingers touching the paint. The product's not going to hurt you, but you're going to hurt the, the paint. One thing that's important to note is we don't need to be applying polish to the pad as it's still leaving a trail. So if it's still leaving the surface damp and you can see where the polish is being deposited, you don't need to apply more polish to your pad. 
When we're done this, the polish, the patch should be basically like new and almost dry. A rogue drip or two is not going to cause any problems, but when you have something like this from the mirror, you want to wipe it off. As with any coating. Yeah. Yeah. If you're using the gold standard polish oh, and a yeah. damp pad, you don't worry about it. But since we're trying to keep the pad dry, then you, it's not a big concern if you get one or two drops, but like a whole line of water coming from oh, here. Yeah. But, uh, One tip is always do the glass last. The reason we do that is we have polish built up in the, the pad. We want to expel that polish from the pad. Easiest way of doing it and most economical is do your glass last. That way you can apply a little bit of pressure to the pad when you're doing the glass without risk of scratching. When you do the adhesion promoter polish properly, you end up, when you're done, with basically a dry pad with no accumulation on it whatsoever. So at this point, Ryan, we can actually go for lunch because we can, the longer we let this sit, the better it is actually. So we don't want to let it sit for three days, but the nice. uh, adhesion promotion act, activates the longer it's there. That's fine to me. And as you can see, you know, wipe off is effortless. And no smears. No smears. I like to use two towels. So a relatively no, low nap towel for the first pass, and then finish off with another higher nap towel just to buff it to a shine, just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Similar to coating. Yeah, exactly. Same idea. <laughs> 